Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. Did you know that when I first started on YouTube, my channel name was Jennifer ESL? I later changed it, but even now, to some older viewers, I'm known as Jennifer ESL. It's interesting to think of all the names we've used over our lifetime. Sometimes an official form, like a passport application, will ask us if we've ever been known by other names. And this makes sense if we've changed our name due to marriage, adoption, or some other life event. Isn't it interesting to think how we're known to different people by different names? When I was a kid, from about 3rd grade to 8th grade, I was known as Jenny. <laughs> that was my nickname. In high school, my friends called me Jen. To my brothers, I'm Jen with two N's, by the way. Recently, a viewer asked me about prepositions that follow the passive verb be known. It may be surprising to see variations, because when you learn to form the passive voice, you mostly practice using by phrases to name the agent, that is, the doer of the action. For example, I was given a first name and a middle name by my parents. Who were the agents, the doer of the action? My parents. The by phrase names them, given by my parents. But we don't always use by with passive verbs. First of all, we can omit the by phrase when it's not important, when it's not necessary, or when it's impossible to name the agent. I was given a nickname at school. It's not really important to say who came up with the nickname. I was named after a famous actress. Isn't it obvious who named me? My parents. The name Jennifer was created long ago. Who came up with the name? It's practically impossible to state the agent. Second, we have state of passive verbs that often use a preposition other than by. Be composed of. Be located in be filled with. These are just some examples. We don't use a by phrase because no one and nothing is receiving an action. We're simply describing a state. You can watch my other grammar lesson on state of passive verbs to learn more. In this video, let's practice the different combinations with be known. I told you that I'm known to older viewers as Jennifer ESL. Why two? I use two to name who knows me. It's like saying I'm familiar to them. I use as to state the name they associate with me. Jennifer ESL is the same channel as English with Jennifer. And I gave the example that to some of my childhood friends, I'm still known as Jenny. So different name, but same person. So when do I use by? We can use by to state the means, the means by which someone is known. They can be known by another name, known by their last name, known by their first name, known by their middle name, known by their stage name, the name which they use when they perform. Do you know who Norma Jean Mortensen is? Maybe not. That's because she's better known as Marilyn Monroe. She's known to pretty much everyone by her stage name, not her birth name. Some celebrities are known by their real names as well as special titles. Elvis Presley is also known as the King of Rock and Roll. Michael Jackson is known as the King of Pop. Who is known as the Queen of Pop? Madonna. Do you know Lady Gaga? Is that her real name or her stage name? Stephanie Germanotta a.k.a. Lady Gaga, is one of the most talented female artists today. 
AKA is a common abbreviation that we say and write. It stands for also known as. We could also say otherwise known as. Do you think you can identify famous people by their stage name or pen name? A pen name is a different name, a fake name that an author uses. Here's a three question quiz. We'll start with an easy one. One, Robin Brianna Fenty is not known to many by her first name. Why? She goes by her middle name, Rihanna. Two, Eric Marlin Bishop, known professionally as has enjoyed success as an actor, singer, and comedian. His talent was on full display when he played Ray Charles in the film Ray, 2004. Answer, Jamie Foxx. Three, Samuel Clemens, AKA, wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Answer, Mark Twain. Four, this is a bonus because it involves a fictitious character. The British spy is otherwise known by his code name, 007. The answer, James Bond. Mark Twain, by the way, was known for his humor. He's one of the most famous American authors. Personally, I enjoy the work of James Thurber more. Thurber was also known for creating humor, but he saw it in funny places, like in the context of marriage. We use known for to name the quality, feature, or skill that makes a person or place memorable. Hawaii is known for its beautiful beaches. New England is known for its cold winters. What is your hometown known for? Tell me in the comments. Here's a final quiz. Name the city or country based on my hint. One, this beautiful European capital is known as the city of light. Paris, France. Two, another European capital city is known for its canals and art including works by Van Gogh and Rembrandt. Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Three, visitors flock to see Machu Picchu up in the Andes, but the capital city of this country is also known for its beauty, history, and culture. Lima, Peru. Four, this island country and city-state is known for having the world's best airport. It even has a waterfall and a butterfly garden. Singapore. By the way, there's another variation we can consider here. We can say this island country and city-state is known to have the world's best airport. We can use known plus an infinitive. Do you want to quiz me and other viewers on famous people and places? Go ahead and write your own question. You have to use known plus a preposition. That's all for now. Please like and share the video if you found the lesson useful. Remember, you can join my channel as a member if you'd like to participate in the next monthly live stream and support my channel. Thank you to all current members. As always, thank you everyone for watching and I wish you happy studies. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Turn on those notifications.